Awesome. Thank you for letting us come here, Isaac. Um, we're just going to ask you a few questions to like get to know you and like more about your mindset and like how you think as a person. So, but first of all, let's start with your background. So, how old are you, first of all? 25. 25. And um, what area are you from? Um, I grew up in Brixton, you know, in Brixton, South London, like near Angel Town and Loughborough. Loughborough Estate, you know. Um, I first got into boxing because, you know, when I was growing up, there was a lot of gang violence, mm -hmm. you know, and um, my cousin, when as soon as he passed his GCSEs, he got stabbed. And obviously, it was a sad time for the family, and that. And my mum my didn't want me going down that road because obviously, she saw me leaning into that, that direction. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, she brought me to the boxing gym, and don't. Only reason why I continued is because obviously when you start out, you're, you're crap. Like you're getting punched in the mouth and bleeding, and when you're sparring, like you always start off terrible. But the coaches kept saying, "Oh, as I, they say this to everyone, isn't it?" But I don't. I never knew. They say, "Oh, as I, you can be a champ. You can be a champ." And obviously, I never heard those words of, of encouragement from teachers, from parents, no one. So obviously, I was like, "Wow, this feels good. Like, I want to keep coming back so I can keep hearing these words of encouragement." Mm -hmm. So I just kept me committed, and I just kept going and kept going, and now I'm here. Were there any boxers you looked up to at the time, like first getting into boxing? Um, there was a there was a lot. I just used to watch all sorts of fighters, you know, Tyson, Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, Mayweather. I, I just used to watch everyone and anyone, you know what I mean, just to pick up anything from them. And um, it, it was it wasn't really um people that I looked up to or wanted to be like. It was kind of like you know I just didn't want to go down the route of going to prison and, and, and getting killed and I just had people I didn't want to be like or I didn't want to go down that route. Okay. You know, so that's what my motivation really was to me to make something better myself and to obviously just be a better person. Okay, so you say like the, so like you took the negative impact of your environment and like use it to push you to be positive because you didn't want to be involved in that basically. Yeah definitely. So um, I've also seen that you were sparring with WBC champion Deontay Wilder. Like, how was that experience sparring with him? Yeah, oh yeah, it was an amazing experience. You know, it was an amazing, and it, it was just crazy, like crazy. We um, went to Alabama. You know, I think it was like an eight-hour flight to Alabama or something. And um, the manager came to us here yeah, in the hotel room, mm -hmm. like the day before we started sparring, and he was like, "Oh, he's gonna go full on. So if anyone wants to." get popped out now yeah. like you have the chance to do so and uh the day came and obviously you have to prepare like you're prepared for a fight so you have to be like okay you know this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that look i didn't really know what i was getting myself into because obviously i'm not like 19 years old or something yeah. sparring with the world champion the heavyweight champion and the hardest hitter in the sport yeah so obviously now uh, we start we start they, they put me in first for the speed and stuff and then I done very well with him. You know, I done better than all the, the other sparring partners that were there. Mm -hmm. And because uh, he found me difficult, the next time we were sparring, um, they were like, "Okay, we're only going to use Isaac now." And then all the other sparring partners were like, "Oh, thank you." Do <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? But now I can tell that like, they prepared for me because obviously he came different. And obviously, I remember I threw a jab here, yeah, and he countered with an uppercut. Boom! I thought I was back in London. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was back in London, everyone was like, well, I'm surprised I didn't drop, like, wow. flipping heck. Do you know what I mean? But um, it, was a, it was an amazing experience, Deontay is such a cool guy, do you know what I mean? Because after training, we always got to eat, we always spend time with each other, like, okay. it's, it, like he's a really um, people's person. Um, I've seen, like, recently, like, there's, like, like the boxing, you're all, you're all, like, a community. So, like, what would you, like, what's your opinion on, like, the state of British boxing right now, then? Um, yeah, it's fire. It's it's firing right now. You know, AJ is AJ is carrying the flag. You know, he's putting more people interest into British boxing. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. So um, that's where everyone wants to fire right now. Right now, you know, that's where that's where it's at right now. It's kind of like where the money is. Do you know what I mean? So um, it's good to get more people, like more uh, casual fans into boxing. Yeah. You know, through AJ. So obviously, everyone's gonna start looking out for the next big thing it's, 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 it's really good okay okay so like more back to you now so in the beginning of your career you like had a winning streak going on so um how do you feel like having that winning streak coming into game like what was your kind of mentality at the time and like, has it changed now um 
it was no, do you know what it was? I was more like obviously I was I was fighting, I was winning and you know, I blew up on the scene and everything. Yeah. And obviously it was like I was a bit naive to it, because obviously like the straight up uh, road to success is never straight. Yeah. There's always there's always a lot of ups and downs. And um I was a bit naive, I was just like thinking it's just gonna be an easy road straight there. Yeah. Not easy in terms of like um the work because obviously you know you have to work hard but you just feel yeah it's just going to be straight but obviously there's politics and boxing there's shit that happens yeah. and you know um now i'm a lot wiser i'm a i'm a lot more on point you know before i was kind of like yeah 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 whatever but now i'm just like i, I want to be on top of everything because at the end of the day it's my career mm-hmm. you know if they if i retire or something happens to me they're going to be on to the next thing yeah so obviously i got a pattern my thing you know what i mean yeah that's very true um, so like yeah, I saw that you fought like Lawrence and Curly, of course, in like the big British beef. Um, first of all, I just want to ask like, what did you learn from the fight? Um, you know, I um, learned, learned a lot of holding, a lot of hugging. Like he's not my girlfriend, so I don't know why he <laughs> wanted to hug me so much. <laughs> but um, no, nah, I learned a whole lot. Not even what happened in the fight, just the yeah. stuff that happened after. Mm-hmm. You know, I learned a lot about myself and, and it was a true test of my character. Do you know what I mean? So, um, now, I've, I've, I'm kind of glad that it happened to me. Okay. You know, because then I would have be living in certain, I would have um, made the decisions to help my career so much. That helped my career and helped form my career to where it is now. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's really, um, I've really learned a whole lot. Do you know what I mean? It's, I've completely changed. I moved out of the ends and I'm training with a new trainer that's that's basically world class, mm-hmm. Nigel Fernandez. And um, you know, the things that I've learned, you know, I don't think I would have learned if um, I won that fight. Okay. Yeah, because I just wanted to say that, like, I respect how you've handled yourself, like, in these past few months, like, following the fight. Like, obviously, there's been a lot, a lot of hardships going through, but. Um, this is what you do, fam. Yeah. God, God puts you through these troubles, you know, because mm-hmm. He knows if you can get out, it will. That what is waiting for you will be beyond your wildest dreams. That's very true. You know true. what I mean? So I uh, know I know what's coming. Mm-hmm. Okay, so like you kinda so like after fight you kinda realise that you need to like take time and like rebuild and like that's what um what the move Yeah you, you, you kinda yeah you have to rebuild but um you have that's what you have to do. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can't really dwell on the past so much. Yeah. And I know that wasn't me in there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Now it would be different. Do you know what I mean? Now it would be completely different. Mm-hmm. But um yeah man, it's exciting times. Yeah, no, it's good to see. Um, I was going to ask us also, um, so like, when you took time out from boxing, cause, like, to work on your actual self-development, like change up your lifestyle and everything like that, so how did you know like, when you were ready to re-enter the ring? Like, how, did you, like, how did it come about that point where you said, okay, yeah, I'm ready to re-enter the ring and get um, back to fighting? I don't know, it's just one of those things where it just clicks. You okay. know what I mean? It's one of those things where it just clicks and it's like, you know what? And now, I've got my thing pattern like now. Before, I had to sort out my strength and conditioning coach, sort out my living area, sort out where I'm gonna be staying, and um, just just sort out like a proper training camp. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Where it suited to me, and you know, sort out the, the camp. So obviously we had like 10, 12 weeks. Then we got offered the week workings fight. You know, and obviously we're negotiating, negotiating money, negotiating whatever, whatever. And when it got signed. It was like we were in a position where it's that like, okay now everything is um now everything is sorted we can really start training for for an opponent okay and so like you said like the new trainers the new lifestyle so like they helped improve your boxing as a whole day. oh yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. you know now i'm definitely living it living it i go, I go home i watch boxing i go to the gym i practice what i've been learning i practice what angel's been teaching i practice all, all sorts of different things so um it's an investment you know what I mean? It's an investment in myself. Okay. Okay. And um, so, just talk about investment in yourself and like you're very invested in yourself. It took time to like really like learn about yourself and grow as a person. So like, did you have any doubters in your career? And like, do you feel like you have any doubters now? Um, what doubters? What like other like, people? Yeah, the other people. Don't care about other people, man. Obviously. You can't really care what other people think. Yeah. You know, it's, at the end of the day, it's your life. Because if if you stop boxing right now, then. If you stop boxing right now, yeah, they're, they're just gonna be on the next person down, the next person. It's true. So, I mean, you, you can't really think like if if they don't know you personally, why does it matter? That makes a lot of sense. You know what I mean? It don't matter. Yeah, that's true. 
Um, so I was gonna say on your Instagram, like you put like loads of motivational quotes in your story, and like you read books that empower your mind. So has this like helped your mentality now, like as a person, and also like within the ring and boxing? Um, yeah, definitely. You know, I like to look at. I always look at different ways of bettering myself. Okay. You know, I always look at different ways of bettering myself. How to to be mentally stronger. How to to motivate myself every day and and inspire myself every day and just just try and be the best athlete I can be, but be the best person I can be as well. Okay. So I'm always trying to do that, and um, it's definitely helping in my boxing as well. So you need to be in that zone, and you need to be like, listen, I can go to that place when I need to, where it's just like you're in the zone. Is there any particular opponents that you're looking to fight next? Um, the opponents, not really. It's more, it's more the belts. You know, I've beaten two Commonwealth champions now. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm ready for like my next title shot. I've beaten um, like every domestic opponent. You know, in the top ten, other than Lawrence. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm looking, I'm getting my, I'm waiting for that title shot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But we have very big things in the horizon. You know, you have very big things in the horizon. So. You know, like at 23, I had like O2. You know, that's yeah. that's flipping massive. No, most people don't do that in their whole career. So that shows that I can be um, a pay-per-view star. Yeah. So I'm just waiting for um, the next date. The next date is coming very, very soon. You know, the next date is coming very, very soon, and we're just waiting on that big, that big show again. Okay, that's very good to hear. And finally, so what's your ultimate goal in boxing? Please say. Be a world champion. No, do, you know, do you know what? The goals change all the time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because if you achieve one thing, you're not just gonna be like, okay, yeah, that's it. No. So, like for example, you make you make five hundred grand, you want a million. You make a million, you want five million. You yeah. make five million, you want ten million. And it's like you win one world title, you want to unify. When you, you unify, you want to be undisputed. You want all the belts. When you want all the belts, you want to move up to everywhere also. So there's always different um, different objectives and different goals and right now the main goal you have to start small the main goal be come to the gym every day come to the gym one time come to the gym and then prepare for the next fight make sure you beat this guy beat this guy you have to take it one day at a time okay. you know if you take it one day at a time the days add up and then little do you know you've been you've been putting in work for like a year now yeah and you've done everything right and you see the drastic improvements, but people don't see the little stuff that you have to do. Okay. Yeah, yeah so it's more of, it's not more of an ultimate goal, it's more of a being able to make sure you make the most out of any day. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. Okay. You have to, because those, those little building blocks, that's what make, that's what make the flipping, the castle. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you have to just start slow and then get to where you want to be. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. Okay.